Hey there, and welcome to the Guitar Tricks channel. My name is Anders, and I'll be your host today. Before we get started, make sure you hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any of our lessons in the future. For our lesson this week, I'm going to show you how you can take the basic open chords that most players start out learning and turn them into cool parts with the use of a technique known as arpeggiating. This refers to picking the notes of a chord one at a time as opposed to all together as we tend to do when we strum. And if you like this topic, there's a whole lot more to dig into in our Guitar Tricks Rock course. So remember that you can apply this technique to any chord you know, but for this lesson, we're going to grab our basic open D major chord. Now the idea is that instead of strumming all the strings all together, we'll find creative and catchy ways to pick the notes one at a time. And for this lesson, we'll come up with a part for a 4-4 groove, meaning there are four counts to a bar, but you can use the same approach to any groove, you'll just have to adjust it. For this example, we'll have four quarter notes in our bar, which means we have eight eighth notes. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. So let's start out by trying to pick the notes of the chord in a basic descending pattern, starting on the high E string and going down. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. For now, you can use any combination of upstrokes and downstrokes that works for you. My personal approach is to always pick in the direction of the next string that you're going to pick. So for this example, I'll pick up, 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 and then down, and so on. Up, 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 down. Again, this pattern is four notes long, so we have to do it twice to fill out the bar. One and two and three and four and. It's a little heavy and boring sounding like that, so let's try to break it up in a less symmetrical way. Let's do two groups of three eighth notes first, and just use the top three strings. One and two and three and. It's already more catchy, right? One, two. One, two, three. We've just used six notes now, so we just have to add two more notes to fill out the bar. You could try anything, but I'm just going to go with the E and the B string again. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. Again, you can pick it any way that works for you, but I'm picking up, up, down, up, up, down in the direction of the next string that I'm going to pick. It's way more interesting then. Catch a little pattern. Now those last two notes that we added at the end of the bar is a really nice spot to add a tension note. Think about it, do you know any tension notes that are easily added to this D chord? You may know the sus4 note here in the 3rd fret, played with your pinky. Try that. A little slower. Sounds pretty cool. Try the open E string. Try alternating between the two. It's a cool little pattern. Now if you don't use the open string, you can actually move this shape freely around the neck and use it for all your different major chords. Pretty fun. On top of that, you can apply the same basic approach to any basic open chord or bar chord that you know, and you can get a million more sounds and ideas out of it. That's it for this week's channel episode. I hope it has made you realize some new terrain that you can explore with just your basic open cowboy chords. And if you haven't already, please make sure to hit the subscribe button for more great videos in the future, and also feel free to like or share this lesson with your friends. Have fun with it, and I'll see you around. Mm -hmm.